I'm excited to say that Emily Berrington and Gemma Chan from Humans on Channel 4 are here. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Um, morning. Right, so here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm always late to TV shows. I'm famous for it. So I started watching Series 1 of Humans this week. And now I am doing the binge-watching thing. Is that because you knew we were coming on? <laughs> I'll be honest, yes. No, <laughs> I, people have been saying it to me for ages, going, you've got to watch this show, you've got to watch this show. But what I tend to do, and I know it's bad, is I just tend to watch trash, what's ever, whatever's on that night or that week. But I'm so glad that I found this show because it is brilliant. Oh, thank That's you. So it's the best. <laughs> and I love that you guys, you guys are here because now I feel a bit, because I've just literally come to the party, I feel a bit starstruck. Mm. And, the, and yeah, I guess the other thing with it as well is I feel kind of weird now meeting you guys because to me you're robots. Yeah. I know, it must be a surprise yeah. that we're human beings. You're kind of human. Yeah, we're real. Um, so if, if nobody has seen this show before, can you just like get people's head around it and, and explain what the show is? Go on. Okay, we're, just, we're working out who's going to say what. <laughs> Go on, Emily. So, it's um, a drama set in a parallel present, so a world that looks just like now. Um, the one big difference being that technology has advanced a really long way uh, in the sense that you can have a synth, which is a humanoid robot that lives in your home, does all the menial jobs for you. Does all the jobs that humans don't want to do anymore. Mm. Um, I mean, you're, I th- you're very quick to offer a juice and a coffee, aren't you? She, all the she, time. She is. She's yeah. always... She's Sorry, always not you. I mean, <laughs> I mean Anita. My character. Yeah. Um, oh, another way to think of it would be, like, if imagine a world where your iPhone came to life. Mm. Good. And, and you could get intimate with so, it. So, yes. So normally these synths or, or robots, they don't have any emotions, do they? That's right. Um, and they can't think kind of independently, but some of you have been enhanced. Exactly. Yes. There are some special ones. That and that's where the fun sentient. starts, really. Yeah. In the show. I think the other thing with it as well is when I first heard about the show, I've got to be honest, it sounded quite... I thought it was going to be really sci-fi, mm. and that's not really my thing. No. But I think what's amazing about this show is it, the storylines with it are as good as any other drama, any other... Um, not soap, that would be the wrong way to put no, it. You really would... buy into the characters with it on, on an actually a human level. Yeah. You know, because also we've got so much good stuff that we see here now from like Netflix and all that. And so sometimes some British dramas you go, well, it's not quite as good. But I'm, this is up there yeah, with the I American agree. ones, I think. Oh, oh thank you. I really well, it, do. It is a co production. Yeah, co production. With right. An American network. Yeah. AMC. So. Okay. And it was originally a Swedish series, so it's got all the kind of cool. Was it? Kind of behind ideas. it. Yeah. Oh, Real right. Uh, which I haven't watched. Have you? No, you watched I haven't it? watched it. I haven't watched it. Um, but yeah, but that's. I agree that it's not a sci-fi. It's not a traditional sci-fi at all. No. It's been it's called sci-fi for non-sci-fi fans. Hasn't yeah, it? yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Um, the first series obviously was massive. Um, one of the most talked-about series of the year. The, um, for the second series, which starts on Sunday on Channel Four at nine o'clock, there's there's been a huge campaign, hasn't there? There's been like posters all over, like buses and and on mm-hmm. on the uh, underground in London. Do you see those and go, oof, pressure? <laughs> a little bit, yes. <laughs> Do you? I was sort of standing opposite my own face on the tube the other day, thinking, come on, come on, it's not good. <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there is pressure because the first series was a big success and difficult second album. You never know if yeah. the second one will be um, as big a success, but we hope that people will stick with it that liked it and that new people will discover it as well. What yeah. we found, and we were talking about this last night, weren't we, Chris, when we were talking about it, um, the, the, your mannerisms, or kind of lack of mannerisms, is that's what impresses us the mm. most. How, yeah, cause... how do you get to that? Because obviously you look human-ish, but you're, it's the way you walk and the way you hold yourself. And it's, it's all so really clever. similar between the different actors mm. as well. That's what I don't get. It's not just one interpretation of what a robot or a synth would be. You're somehow all doing exactly the same. Yeah, well, we had an amazing choreographer. Um, called Dan O'Neill, who works with uh, Frantic Assembly. And he, we went to something called uh, Synth School to learn, all of us that play synths, to no. learn the yes. kind of universal language of movement, as it was, it was mm. called. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and we, learned, we, we basically learned from, from scratch how to, to be synths. So he taught us how to do everything from walking to standing up, sitting down. But all together. Uh, all together. All together. And, yeah. 
Mm. Because they wanted, we couldn't all just come in and freestyle. No, that's what I mean, because everyone kind of, be. everyone and moves the same way, looks the yeah. same way. And all our yeah. storylines were separate to begin with, so we could have easily just gone off and yeah. developed some mad robot thing on our own. Oh, that would be the disaster. Why didn't yeah. they film that synth school? This yeah. sounds amazing. Well, we've had requests that we open a synth school. That I think we should start doing sort of Saturday classes yeah. for people. <laughs> also, what I like is um, the voices. Like, did, did, did they teach you that as well, or did you, that's just something that, you have to do no they didn't teach us that that was something we could kind of just we had quite free reign on that didn't we Gemma yeah. I want um, to if, if people haven't seen it I want to play you now as, as Anita in setup mode because it's great hello Joe I'm now securely bonded to you as my primary user it's very nice to meet you <laughs> I love it we were ask, we were considering uh, asking you to bond with us as as our primary user when you came in. We thought that would be a bit weird. No, I can. I can, can do you that. do that? Yeah. Can you? Okay. Okay. Who uh, wants, so who wants Scott and Chris. Okay. Here we go. Um, you go, Chris. Okay. You just hold hands, right? Yeah. Um, gosh, what do I say? I'm gonna, uh, say hello, Chris. Okay. Hello, Chris. I'm now securely bonded to you as my primary user. Oh, she's oh even <laughs> Ah, she's even doing the eyes. Her eyes have changed colour. You can't so see weird. it, but they have. You know the eyes? Is that contacts? No, that's uh, post-production. It, we can't, it? You yeah. can't wear coloured contact lenses for enough hours of the day, apparently, for, for a filming schedule. So, yeah. so someone has to colour them all in afterwards. Wow, I'm learning so much about this. Yeah, it, it does make you not trust people with green eyes out and about, I find. Yeah, we have heard that that's uh, been a big problem. No, we haven't. But, uh, um. Because the show changes how you think. You do think yourself, even though you know it's not true, you do kind of think yourself. You look at people out and about and you go, God, I wonder if they are. Oh actually since and this is based on a true story we've had a um yeah. we've had a text from pippa going i saw humans being filmed at a train station it was hilarious because they were all plugged in and everyone kept running uh, running over and ruining filming they, because they kept going over and trying to plug their phones in yes. <laughs> what, like, to charge their phones yeah it's true <laughs> i've amazing. had people um come up to me in the pub and try and switch me off under my chin <laughs> I've, I've, I've been that as, as well <laughs> a huge evasion of personal space here's a bit isn't it? so still i'm glad they like the show. So your yeah. life's normal. Yeah. Um, I also <laughs> want to play a bit where um, Gemma, obviously they don't really have emotions, so they have to be told what to do. So there's a bit of over laughing here, like Korea laughing almost. I've known you were going to be joining us for breakfast, Anita. I'd have got some micro chips. I apologise, Anita, that was my husband trying to be funny. <laughs> Finally, someone to laugh at my jokes. <laughs> the size is you, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> and then she has to be told to stop laughing before she does. But that is the laugh you do when your boss cracks a joke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, um, we're going to play. We'll play You Me at Six, Night People, and then we'll continue our, our chat with Gemma and Emily on the radio on Breakfast Show. Uh, the Stars of Humans is 8.20. This is You Me at Six and Night People on Radio One. Eight twenty-three, and we're with Gemma Chan and Emily Berrington from Humans. The new series starts on Sunday at nine PM on Channel Four, and I would have been binge watched all of the first series by then, so I'd be fully up to speed. <laughs> Where are you up to? Oh, I'm only I'm quite early on, like episode four. -ish. Okay, that's halfway. <gasps> halfway, but um, Anita's just started to go quite wrong. Wow. <laughs> They've had to take her back. Yeah, where are you up to, Scott? Have the other options been, the, the add-ons been activated yet? Not yet. Can't, can't quite remember. But I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> I also enjoy it when, um, when the synths malfunction a little bit. I mean, that's, I mean, that's clever yeah. acting, I think. I know, that's amazing. Yeah. Will Tudor is particularly good at that, who plays Odie. Well, I've got him yes. here. I've got yeah. him here being corrupted. And... Hello, George. How are you? You, 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 you. Multiple faults detected upon startup. What would you like to do? It's so crazy. It's, it's clever. Sad, isn't it? it's we always so said that good. Odie's like permanently got the, the beach ball of death spinning round on yeah. his little screen in his mind. Oh. Yes. And then all he does is offer his own a toast and jam. And after that episode, I just went around for the rest of the day going, would you like some toast and jam? <laughs> That's very good. Then would you like some toast and jam, George? Your favourite is apricot. 
Right. Here's the thing, we had the Radio 1 Teen Awards at the weekend. We think the same thing happened to Jess Glynn. I think she malfunctioned. Have a listen to this. She got stuck for a minute there, didn't she? So would you like some toast and jam, George? <laughs> what are we saying? That Jess Glynn is a sin? <laughs> Possibly. Mm. She was wearing glasses mm. to disguise her eyes. Has she got green eyes? I don't know. Oh. Hey, listen, there's loads going on today. You're very welcome to stick around. G uh, Honey G is playing in your bingo after nine. Oh, that is amazing. amazing. Isn't that okay. great? It's incredible. Um, and we're going to try and get to the bottom of what all that's about. And then James Arthur in the Live Lounge from 12. What, what a good day, eh? Wow. But I know that you've got loads to do. You're on the one show tonight as well. Yes, we are. Do you know what you've got to do on the one show? Are they going to get you to do robot dancing? I like, think we are going to be teaching a little teaching bit. teaching a bit since school, aren't we? Exactly. What does that yeah. involve? What do, what do you have to do for that? It's quite a hard show on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's to do with our, our physicality, the stuff that we learn. The I don't know why I just did robot it's arms because that's the opposite of what we do. <laughs> mm. But we'll be teaching them a little bit of head turns and okay, that's yeah, the thing. eye thing. But it, then before that, I've got to go. And I'm just going to plug my play now. Which go is, for I'm, it. I'm teching a, a, a play that opens on Thursday, Dead Funny at the Vaudeville Theatre in it's the got West End. Catherine Parkinson in it. As yes, well. so it's a bit of a yes. human's reunion. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's a lot going on, isn't there? No. Can you do the uh, synth stare at Chris, please? Because the cameras are on right now. Any, uh, maybe both of you oh, can wait. stare mm. him out. Should we do a head turn? Yeah. Oh Hang yes, on. do Hang a head turn. Second. Okay, the cameras are on now on the Radio One website. We'll get we'll get this um, as a little gif later on, probably. Okay. okay. We do, uh, a three, two, do you want me to do a three, two, one? Yeah. 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 Okay. And three, two, one. Oh, I, know, I know that you can't see that, but that is really That's freaky. That's freaky when you're a fan of the show. Oh, right, I'll, I'll whack it up on Instagram. I love that we did that on the radio. Yeah, yeah. That That's okay. We'll, we'll put it up. Um, oh yes, Gemma's documentary. Have we got time? Go on, then. There's, there's Gemma's yes. done an amazing documentary yes. about okay. AI. How, um, how to build a human on Saturday night, nine o'clock. Um, and where's that? Oh, on Channel 4. Didn't and they reconstruct you yes, for we it? Yes, we've tried to, we've done something completely mad. Um, we've got some scientists to try and make a real life robot of me. It's amazing. <laughs> and we try and pass it off as, as me. Really? So yeah, it's like, it's art imitating life, imitating art. Imitate. Oh, wow. I don't know. It's, 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 yeah, <laughs> keep going. Yeah. Do, you ever, yeah. do you ever forget that you're not a robot because you're talking about it and doing it so much? No, I mean, no. I find it very hard now to do anything in life without being a bit robotic. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Uh, the new series of humans. I take that back. I take it back. Okay. The new series of humans is on Sunday at nine o'clock on Channel Four. And Emily and Gemma, thanks so much for joining Thank us today. You. Thank you. Thank you.